You're watching Must Do Travels, and this is our San Francisco travel guide. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on top destinations and to get insights on great experiences to help plan your vacations. You can also join our club at club.mustdotravels.com to get exclusive pricing and inspiration towards your future journeys. The city of San Francisco is Northern California's cultural, commercial, and financial center and home to more than 800,000 residents. Nearly 25 million tourists come to the Bay Area each and every year, and that number is projected to increase over the next 10 years. Recently, the city has renovated some of its more prominent tourist areas and protected some of the older favorites that have become some of the city's most recognizable attractions. San Francisco was officially founded in 1850, just at the start of the California Gold Rush, but people have lived in the area dating back to almost 5,000 years ago. In the late 1700s, Spanish missionaries settled the Bay Area and built missions. The city is actually named after St. Francis, who had a dedicated mission built here by Spanish explorer Juan Bautista de Anza back in 1776. And this list covers our top 10 picks of some of the best things to see and do in San Francisco, but they're ranked in no particular order of importance. So to kick off the list at number one is San Francisco's Fisherman's Wharf and Pier 39. This location on the waterfront is by far one of the most popular tourist attractions in the entire city. The pier contains fantastic seafood restaurants, gift shops, museums, and a great view of Alcatraz Island and the always entertaining sea lion. You can stop in for a loaf of fresh baked sourdough bread, which is a San Francisco staple. Sorry, Riceroni. And to make it even better, you can get a steaming hot bowl of scratch-made clam chowder served inside of a sourdough bread bowl, so talk about yum. Located just around the corner is the Ghirardelli Square and Chocolate Factory. And since you're already near the Wharf District, you should stop into Ghirardelli Square for some sweet desserts. This famous Italian-born chocolate company took up residence right on this very spot back in 1893 when Domenico Girardelli purchased the entire city block to build his headquarters. Over the years, the brand has flourished and tourists come to dine on delectable milkshakes and ice cream sundaes, as well as purchase some of the finest chocolates to take home. And that's if you can resist eating them all before you make it back there. At number three is Alcatraz Island which is perhaps one of the most notorious prisons in all of history. It's situated smack dab in the middle of San Francisco Bay, and it would be quite hard to miss. But getting there is a little journey all of its own. The prison, which sat in plain view for hundreds of thousands of residents to see on a daily basis, had earned a reputation for being nigh escapable for its maximum security inmate. Over the years, many tales have been told of daring escape attempts that were made by some of the island's prisoners, but none of them have been known to escape successfully to or live to tell about it. The most infamous prisoner to take up residence behind bars was Al Capone, who was held in cell 181. At number four, Union Square is San Francisco's premier shopping, dining, and hotel district. The square gets its name due to being the location used for holding rallies to support the Union troops during the American Civil War and most of San Francisco's finest attractions are easily within reach from Union Square, thanks to the Bay Area's elaborate public transportation system. You can get almost anywhere in the city by hopping on either a cable car, the BART, the Muni Metro, or any one of the other available options. At number five is the Palace of Fine Arts. The Palace of Fine Arts is a holdover built from the 1915 Panama Pacific Exposition and it was constructed to show off the works of art that were presented during that exhibition. This neoclassical construction is a beautiful architectural masterpiece, and it's one of the few surviving buildings from that event. The grounds feature a peaceful lagoon and a 966-seat theater that was built in later years. At number six comes the Golden Gate Park. Easily, San Francisco's most recognizable icon is the Golden Gate Bridge, which was constructed between 1933 and 1937. The bridge stretches over one mile long and connects the city of San Francisco to its northern Marin County, and greatly shortened the distance required previously for people to reach those areas. The bridge is surrounded by the Golden Gate Park, which features over 1,000 acres, making it larger than New York Central Park by about 20%. Nearly 13 million people per year visit the park, meaning that 
roughly half the tourists that come to San Francisco make it here. One of the most famous attractions of the park, aside from the bridge itself, is the Japanese tea garden that was built on this site way back in 1894. In addition, there are many other museums featuring botanical gardens, works of art, and historical displays. Number seven is a ride on the famous San Francisco cable cars. A trip to San Francisco would hardly be complete without a ride on one of its famous cable cars, commonly known as trolleys. These whimsical train cars scoot about the city, climbing San Francisco's ridiculously steep streets, taking passengers on a scenic journey all around town. The open air experience creates a more connected environment for tourists in the surrounding bustle. The trolleys are propelled by a cable car system that uses pulleys to draw a cable all about town, and the cable car operators move the cars by grabbing hold of that perpetually moving cable and slow down by releasing hold and applying the brakes. The impossibly steep streets of San Francisco posed far too great a risk for horse-drawn carriages, and cable car systems provided a safe alternative for people to move about the town in the late 1800s. At number eight is Lombard Street. Lombard Street is famous for its tightly wound section that features eight harrowing hairpin turns in one short city block span. This stretch is proclaimed as the windiest street in the entire world, and people literally line up their cars for blocks sometimes just to get a chance to drive slowly down this crazy street. Residents that live here must be thrilled to have to queue up in that line just to park their car in their own garage. But don't worry, you don't have to drive a car to check out Lombard Street. You can simply hop off the trolley at one of the many points near the upper end of the intersection and walk down the sidewalk for your photo opportunities. At number nine is Nihon Machi. Although San Francisco's Chinatown is world famous, we highly recommend checking out their Japantown too. Known as Nihon Machi, which literally translates to Japantown from Japanese. No frills there on the translation. This section spans six city blocks and is considered one of the longest standing ethnic enclaves in US history. Japan Center is the main hub for this Japantown and features a few shopping centers, fantastic restaurants, and peaceful gardens to relax and let your second wind catch up to you. If you happen to be there in April, try to check out their Cherry Blossom Festival, which lasts for two weeks. Last but not least, at number 10 is the Ferry Building. San Francisco's Ferry Building was built in 1898 and has been an integral part of the city's economic well-being. The Ferry Building serves as a terminal for the many ferries that carry passengers across the bay, and as such has always included dining halls and farmers markets to display the goods brought into the city from afar. The building has survived some of the worst earthquakes in San Francisco's history and is still actively in use today though more in the capacity as a shopping plaza. If you enjoy travel guides like this, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos on our top picks and places to go and things to do around the world. Drop a comment below and let us know your favorite place in San Francisco and tell us what you think about our top picks. Become a part of the largest community of travel enthusiasts today. You can sign up for our exclusive travel deals at club.mustdotravels.com to get updates and alerts on our special rates on hotels, cruises, luxury resorts, and guided vacations all year long. Every day and every place is a deal when you're part of the club. And best of all, signing up is free and easy. Until next time, this has been a journey from Must Do Travels.